guys and welcome back to the channel so back in the fall when i bought uh this last fourplex that i have i inherited two tenants one of them happened to be a hoarder and i knew that when i did the walkthrough because i had to crawl over her stuff just to see the apartment um however i still purchased it with the intention that i'd probably be getting rid of her at some point and you know as time went on and i got another tenant in there because there's a shared foyer way you know the other tenant kept complaining to me that the apartment smelled so terrible when the door opened and it smelled the whole foyer way up and even up into her unit she could smell it and she claimed there was cockroaches and all sorts of things so i've been asking her to clean stuff up and nothing was being done and then a few months ago i had the biannual fire inspection that's due by the city and that's where the fire marshal goes through and he inspects all the units checks for any fire hazards and he could not even open her door to get in there and check it and so he ended up placarding her door with a notice that said she had a certain amount of time to clean up the place and have him reinspect or else she would not be able to sleep there at night and essentially he'd be condemning the place if nothing was done and she would not be able to live there anymore. And so at that point, I went ahead and gave her a 90 day notice to move out. Um, she had been there for over two years, so I had to give her a 90 day notice. And she took all 90 days, but she did end up moving out. And today, supposedly, she is completely out. She said she still has some stuff left in there, but she's too tired to move it and she, and she doesn't have the money to pay anybody else to do it right now. So she told me that essentially she'll pay me when she has the money, but she she can't get anything else out. I just wanna get that apartment cleaned up and fixed up and rented out. So I'm going to go ahead and head over there and see what it looks like and clean up all of the rest of her stuff. And I will charge her. I told her I'd be charging her $600 to do this. You know, whether I see the money or not, I guess that's a different story, but It'll be worth it just to get this thing ready and rented. So I'm going to throw some pictures up here on the screen of what it looked like before. This was during the fire inspection. As you can see, this place is chuck full. You can barely walk around in here. And in this last picture, you'll see the door that's as far open as it would go. Here we are. So this is what's left. Bunch of furniture. Big hutch. Fox springs. Or a box of clothes. Not terrible. like a couple leaks from pipes. Definitely see some cat damage from cat scratching. The floor needs a good cleaning, but they're hardwoods. A little progress update here. We've got everything cleaned out. I actually did the first vacuuming and mopping. And I got most of this cat hair out of here and dirt. Smells a little bit better in here. Right now I'm working on these drop ceiling tiles. As you can see, I just replaced that one. Now I'm gonna do that one. These had a couple little spots of water damage on them, as well as this one in here. I converted to LED. There's the old fluorescent bulbs. I also bug bombed the place for fleas and bug beds just in case. And I also have some roach paste in all the corners, as you can see there, just in case there's any critters. So yeah, everything cleaned up pretty nicely except for this closet is where she kept the cats. Litter box at least, and it still smells terrible. Um, I think I'm just going to tear this old hardwood floor out. 
put some put a piece of plywood and then put some linoleum over top of it. I don't think I'm gonna get that smell out, so we'll see how it goes. So all the big items that were left in the apartment I put out on the street corner and in about two hours they were all picked over. This area is crazy. Anything people see going by they'll just pick up and take. The rest of the stuff that was left in there was just garbage, so I threw it in the truck and I had a full truckload to put in the dumpster. And if you were hoping to see all the repairs that were done to this place, then you're in luck. Stay tuned. The next video is going to be all the repairs that were done here. And I'm going to end the video there. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and thank you for watching. Bye.